is Monday morning in Miami and I just got to work and actually I've been at work for a few hours and I was getting ready to do my makeup and I'm like you know what let me film this for you guys I love to see and everyone um see videos of people applying their makeup and so yeah I decided to film this for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I used a few products my my job what I currently do now is a little different than what I used to do before which I used to work in the office setting and now I recently opened my own boutique in Miami and yeah I'm the only girl here I feel like I have to take pictures of clothes throughout the day so I do um, add a little bit more time to my makeup but that doesn't happen every morning um, sometimes I'm running a little late sometimes I'm doing buying all day and by the time I get to the store I just want to put on some powder and a little bit of here and there like lipstick and mascara and that's it so but today since I had a little bit of time I wanted to film this video for you guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial or this video and I am by no means a makeup artist I'm just showing you guys what I do um, to my makeup what I do to my face to get ready and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next one so stay watching so you can see what I do now I used for moisturizer I used the Number seven, day cream, the Protect and Perfect Intense Day Advanced Day Cream. I also use the Lift and Illuminate Triple Action um, Serum. And then I use their um, number seven, Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Eye Cream. And then I also went in with the Beauty Flash Balm, which brightens and tightens, tightens your face. And this one's by Clarins USA. I'm sorry. Clarence Paris. I don't know why I would say USA. And then I went in with my It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's the illumination. It has SPF 50. And I you I usually just apply one pump. And I hate that my camera um didn't pick this up or didn't record this, but this is what I normally do. I just put one pump here and then I start um by focusing in the middle and then I go in blending the rest of my face out. And I start in the middle because I want the most coverage in the middle of my face and then everything else like on the um, outside of my face it doesn't really matter I mean obviously as long as I have a little bit so that way it all is all one color but it doesn't have to have a lot of coverage but anyway so this is what I do and um, what I was saying is that my foundation, not a foundation, but this one here is a little bit darker. The CC cream is a little darker than my face color, and but it blends very well with my skin color. I don't, I stopped doing um, self tanners, and this is mainly because I kind of hate the fact that it smells so bad. Uh, Michael says that I smell like a Doritos. And I have to agree with him, sometimes it smells so strong, whichever one it is that I use, even if I do like the ones that you actually go into the um, salon and have them spray tan you, the smell drives me crazy, I hate it, and I catch myself waking up in the middle of the night so nauseated that I just want to shower and take everything, everything off because it's that bad. So I'm very sensitive to smells, um, i try to find here a brush to apply my... Concealer. Here it is. So I'm going to be using my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I would love to say that this one doesn't crease, but it does. However, it is very hydrating, and I really like that. But it does crease, even if I try to set it with um, powder, it still creases a little bit. But then again, I have a lot of folds under my eyes, so. I'm just going to apply here. So this is the makeup that I usually do for work every day. I, ever since my life changed a little bit. So I used to work in an office. I know you guys probably know this already, but I used to work in an office where I used to sit in front of a computer for eight hours. And then on the other side, I used to have a huge mirror, I'm sorry, a huge window. So but if I applied too much makeup or if I applied any makeup, I felt like by the time I left the office, my makeup was all gone anyways because it would melt off my face. So what I, I would hardly put any makeup on and everything that I did was pretty much all powder. 
just because I wanted everything to last. So here is a little different because I love, I feel like young skin always looks like it's very um, illuminated, very hydrated, very dewy. So I feel like if I try to imitate a dewy skin, I feel like I look younger. So I try to use only liquid stuff or most of liquid products versus using um, powder. And yeah, so I try to put a lot of, um, use a lot of um, liquid products in my face. And I try not to set it too much with powder just because I want to look young. So I am currently at the store. I came in here today really early. I have so much stuff to do here. And I was going to um, apply my makeup, so I figured I would just turn on the camera and let you guys see what I do. And then we have an event tonight, so no big deal, like just a little event. But I wanted to, um, whatever it is that I put on, Pretty much is what I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day and to the event um, just because I don't have time once I start working I close the store 7 and then I have to be there by 7 30 and as of right now I'm the only person working here I do have people that help me like my sisters I have friends that help me at the store but mainly it's just me here so I um, I don't have time to change my makeup or to reapply it or anything like that so what I'm going to use here um, to set everything is my the medium. It, this is the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. This is very light. So what I do, I use this fan brush and I just literally just set it like that. Very lighting. Because I don't want any more coverage, I just want to set this makeup in. literally just like that I want it to be so minimal because I still want my dewy makeup to look I want my face to still look a little dewy like if I just apply moisturizer when to wear I wish I remember when I used to not wear makeup at all and I think the key to making your face or your makeup look very um, natural is um, just the colors that you, in general, that you pick. So I'm going to use my um, Tartlet um, palette by Tarte. I use this palette like crazy. Like this is awesome and I use it all the time. I just love the color so much. So I'm just going to add some definition to my eyes by um, just carving out my crease here, but very lightning, no big deal. good and the color that I use is the wonder and then I also um, I'll show you guys and I will also go in with another color too from the palette which has more of a warm tone well I think this palette is very warm but um, the other one is more of a peachy pink color so And I didn't I woke up a few hours ago today I woke up at 7 30 in the morning while Michael was leaving to work it is now 10 o'clock and um, I opened the store at 11 10 30 11 um, so before I open the store I want to go to the dry cleaner and pick up drop off a dress and also pick up um, some tops because what happens here is that people try on clothes with makeup on and then sometimes they dirty the clothes and makeup and I refuse to try to clean it myself. I rather just get a dry clean to professionally and let them do what they do best. So 
so that way because I would not want to sell anything to anybody that has marks because I wouldn't want right to buy anything that has marks on it either so I'm using my beauty professional eyeshader brush and this one here is for I'm gonna use here is the force of nature which is the little pink one that I was telling you guys about and I'm just going to apply this So this weekend, Michael and I went to um, this, this weekend actually, I decided to, and then I'm just going to get a clean brush and just blend it all in, just kind of dust off excess product and just kind of blend everything in. And then I'm going to also, um, I have to do my eyebrows, so I'm going to just apply a little bit of the Free Spirit, which is like the very, very light color here, vanilla color. I'm just going to add a little bit of this color right under my eyebrows. Kind of highlight. So Mike and I went to the Miami Open yesterday, which so much was so much fun. I loved it. And what I wanted to um and I decided to vlog my weekend because I haven't done a vlog in so long and I kind of missed it. So you guys have to watch it and let me know if you like it, if I should continue to do vlogs. Um, they're so fun. I just feel like I hate to have, I hate, like when I don't do anything since I do work on Saturdays now, I hate to like just do a vlog, just to do a vlog and then try to find, like, just show like boring stuff. Sometimes I just get out of work on Saturdays and just go straight home, order pizza and stay in. So. Especially if Michael worked too, like at his his job, so I hate to just bring you guys home and show you guys me eating pizza. So if I have, so I think what I'm gonna do is that if I have events or anything like that, like fun things to do, I will pull out the camera and just do a vlog. But other than that, but let me know if you guys still like vlogs, so I can go ahead and plan some more out. Because sometimes I do fun things too on the weekends, but. Since Michael and I don't really get a lot of time alone anymore just because we've been so busy um, with the store and him at his job. Michael manages his dad's towing company so it is crazy busy for him. So I think I'm done with my eyes um, but before I apply... Um, okay, so I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys but my Anastasia um, eyebrow pencil always like I think this is my third one and it always breaks like the tip always the spoolie tip always breaks so what I do is that I keep this brush just to because I think it's so perfect and I just use it to um, do like a very close to the lash line liner and I just create this with a powder and like it's just I want it to be very light and natural but I just want to add some definition there to my my lash line and like a very like light um, eyeliner here and I don't do this too much with too much precision I could just do it very lightly usually on Mondays I do a lot of my buying for the store um, or I receive shipment in the store in the morning so that's why in the mornings for me on Mondays this is just crazy so um, but today I didn't have anything I just wanted to come in early and get some uh, go to the dry cleaner and then get some stuff done so okay so that's I, there's nothing here so I'm just kind of blending in like I don't know I always do this and it's there's nothing else there, but and I already set the powder, but I just always do that anyways. I don't know what. Um, what else? Okay, so now I'm going to use my... Um, 
gonna use this brush. And this brush here, I just recently started doing this. This one here is the Multitasker Contour Brush by Sephora. I think they discontinued this brush, but I'm not sure. But I ended up picking this up a long time ago and just never used it until now. And I guess because the edge is so sharp, I get to use it for to contour my nose. I don't know how to do contouring very well, so I don't I don't try too hard. But I can just so very lightly, just a little bit. Um, I'm going to put this brush in the middle and just make sure that. to use my number seven I have two colors here I have the golden um, bronzer golden golden sand bronzer and then I have the maple I think for today I am going to use I don't know, maybe I'll do the maple and I'm going to use this brush the beauty um, the angled cheek I know this is for a blush but I'm going to use it for the bronzer because I don't want to do too much of a carved out bronzer look. I just want lightly just to contour my face a little bit but very light. Nothing too crazy. And this brush is so soft. You see here? And a nice, con uh, nice bronzer color. And I believe all of the, this brand, you can pick it up, not this brush brand, but um, number seven, I think you can pick it up at Target. I've seen there before at Target, and I've also seen it at, um, where else have I seen it? I think just at Target, actually. Okay, so that's it, very tiny. And then I'm going to use the um, Rimmel London. Um, which color is this one? Golden Sand. Oh, it's the same color as this. Oh, no, and I'm going to just lightly add some color to my cheeks, which is a pink one here, the bottom one. I don't know what color this is, because I don't think it says the color, but I'm just going to add a little bit of this color to my cheeks. fan brush again and I'm going to pick up my where is it? Oh you know what? Okay, here it is. My Becca. Um this one's a shimmery skin perfector pressed powder and this one here I think the color here is this one here is the opal one and I put very little very little and I have very very big pores here so I try to just leave it here like on the higher point of my cheek but just up here and I try not to bring it too much to the front and then when I bring it down here my face is really swollen today I kind of just do it like on this part of my cheek but very lightly but there's like almost nothing there then I go in very lightly, put it right under my eyebrows, the arch of my eyebrows, just like right here. And then sometimes you guys, like I have no time to do makeup for work, so I literally like do a five minute makeup routine, but today since I have a little bit more time, I figure I will show you guys. And then also because I'm talking. taking a little longer so what else um, that's pretty much it oh wait hold on and then I have this tiny little brush from um, it's also Sephora and I'm just going to get that 
Wonder Brown and add it. And then I'm going to blend it with my the natural beauty color here. Tap it. And I'm just going to create like an eyeliner right under my eyelash. Really nice. Again, wonder, tap it, and then I do natural beauty, tap it. And then I just blend like crazy. Wonder. Flip it over and I just blend. Flip it, add more color, flip it over. Then, my favorite part, which is mascara. And I just go in there. And I go, I go ham on my mascara. I love my eyelashes to have a ton of mascara. And my favorite mascara of all time is the Lancome Hypnose. What's it called? Oh, this doesn't even have. Oh, oh yeah, Hypnose Drama. I love this mascara. I swear by this thing. I mean, I go on. I go to um, usually to Nordstrom when they have like the buy one and you get the second one I buy two and you get the third one free I always go and I buy three I always have this and I have it like I'll show you I only open one at a time but like for example this one here I should be changing it soon because it's already running out like if it doesn't it's not that wet anymore and it's starting to like clump up, so it's drying up. So what I do is I'll put this one in my bag. And you know how you will reapply your lipstick? Well, I tend to just reapply mascara throughout. Um, like if I'm all of a sudden know I'm gonna be going somewhere, I just reapply my um, mascara. It just makes me feel so good to have my mascara in my bag. Okay. And then once I have nothing left, I'll go in on the bottom one. And I try to touch my bottom lid really well. And then I pull down. I feel like this creates like almost like a full eyeliner. And I feel like it does the same thing when you touch the top of your eyelid. It makes your eyelash line very dark. So that's pretty much it. I don't pluck any hair of my, um, any of these hairs that grow here on the inside of your um, eye. Just because I feel like one day I'm going to regret it. You know like when you're little and you tend to like pluck all your eyebrows and you go through the stage like once you're in like middle school, high school that you want to do your own eyebrows and then you over pluck and then you have like when you're older, it doesn't grow anymore. Well, I'm so afraid that that's going to happen to me with my eyelashes that I don't touch those. My mom, I think, cuts it. And my sister, I think, plucks it. But I don't touch my. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I think I'm going to add just a bit of a highlighter. And the one that I'm going to use for the inner corner of my eyes is the one that comes in the palette for um, Remo. I'm going to use this little brush, which is the um, beauty. Pro this one here is like um, tilted liner. This is like to apply like eyeliner, uh, liquid eyeliner. But I usually use this for uh, to apply like really close to my eye um, highlighter. So I just go in. Probably see. Can hardly see it. I think with the camera. I can see it in person. So what else? Do I oh yeah. And then I was going to show you guys that. 
here. I have one of my bags. And in here, I have the knuckle. This is what I was telling you guys about. I just always carry it with me. Okay, so let me see what else. So this is, I think, my finished makeup look. I usually have a setting spray, but I didn't bring it with me today because I'm here in the store. Um, and I tend to forget this a lot, but I think this is pretty good. Let me see. from there and that's pretty much it I think what I'm gonna do now is apply some lipstick and then I think I want to do the I love this these you guys the by Rimmel the Provo um, Provoca lips these are so good you guys are awesome but I think for today I'm gonna do like a dark lip I think so I'm going to apply I think I'm gonna use this one by um, Kat Von D and this color here is the, this thing would like, once I put it on now, it will last me all day. And I'm going to use the, um, yeah, the color uh, Mother. You have to be very careful with this because this to take it off, remove these lipsticks are so hard since they are long lasting. So I try to take my time when applying really close to the line. This is my makeup, so I will leave my lipstick out and everything else, I just put it away. But this is it, you guys. This is my makeup. What do you guys think? Looks natural, right? Looks pretty. Oh, my eyebrows. Hello. And then since I told you guys I have to do my eyebrows, I am not going to um, apply anything but just brush them. And I am not going to fill them in because... They are growing and I have like hairs everywhere so I just brush them really well and that's it yeah and I'll just leave them like that but that's it you guys what do you think of my makeup if you guys have any questions if you guys didn't have um, want to know anything more about a product that I tried on here let me know in the comments below I would love to um, answer you guys and to hear what you guys are your thoughts on my makeup you I don't know just leave any comments that you have down on the down below and yeah you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want to see more of these looks okay thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you on my next one bye